This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Global Village. I'm your host, Buddy Kunana. Now, you know, folks, on this show, we take you around the world and you learn about beautiful countries, especially through the intimate chats we have with people who know the societies and cultures of their countries best. And tonight is all about Sri Lanka, a beautiful ancient land with, which goes by many names, uh, Pearl of the Indian Ocean, Teardrop of India, Wonder of Asia. And joining us is none other than the Ambassador of Sri Lanka to the Philippines, Her Excellency Aruni Ranaraja. Ambassador Anaraja, welcome to Global Village. Hi, Boran. Pleasure to have you here, Excellency. Thank you. And, Thank you. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a nice show tonight because Sri Lanka has always intrigued me, and intrigued, I'm sure, our, my viewers. And it's a pleasure to really share the beauty of your country with them through the, the chat we'll have this evening. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, to get the conversation going, let's talk about you, Ambassador. Let's talk about uh, who is Ambassador Ranaraja? <laughs> uh, I'm Maruni Ranaraja. Uh, of course, uh, you want to know my background? Or? Yes, 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 ma'am. Okay. Um, of course, uh, 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 I studied in Russia. My basic education was in Sri Lanka, but my higher education was in Russia during the Soviet time. It was in Ukraine, in Kiev. This was in 1988. Okay. Uh, then after that, uh, after finishing my studies, I did international relations came back to Sri Lanka and sat for the Sri Lankan Foreign Service. Uh, I was chosen into the Foreign Service, and I have been the first uh, Russian graduate to be in the Sri Lankan Foreign Service. So I'm very proud to be a, a, Rus a, a, a Russian made into yes. the Foreign Service, <laughs> Sri Lankan Foreign Service. Uh, I started my career in 1996, uh, and also they are, um, in the Sri Lankan Foreign Service, our batch, uh, we have a majority of women. Wow, uh, okay. Out of the 12 people, uh, we have seven women in the Sri Lankan, uh, my, in my batch. It's, that's the 1996 batch. So we are very proud to be in that batch, uh, especially uh, me, I am very proud to be in that batch. Uh, I, uh, uh, at the beginning, I was, uh, uh, as a cadet, my first posting was to Brussels. 
uh, so this is very exciting times. Uh, this is when Sri Lanka was applying for the GSP plus. Yes. So I was very much involved in that. Uh, and also uh, this uh, uh, with the European Union as always also with the with Belgium and uh, Sri Lankan mission at that time was accredited to uh, uh, po uh, to Belgium uh, also to Portugal and Luxembourg okay. so that was a very interesting time for me uh, it was a very good experience as a cadet uh, I worked with a career ambassador uh, so after finishing that uh, appointment uh, I came back to Colombo and uh, mostly worked in the political desk. I was I was uh, an assistant director and deputy director in the economic affairs. Yes. And after that, I was posted to uh, Bangkok. Uh, also a very interesting posting. Uh, you know, Sri Lanka and uh, Thailand has a very yes. very close relationship yes. uh, based on cultural linkages, especially the Theravada Buddhism. So it was a very interesting appointment for me, and I really enjoyed uh, my posting in Thailand. Then uh, after that, I was posted to Moscow, uh, because as I said, I'm a graduate from Russia. So with my background, maybe the ministry thought it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good that I'm being posted to, the, to Russia. Must have been a very so interesting, fulfilling yes, yes, experience as well. Yes. Because, you know, uh, as a student, it was a completely different uh, yes. uh, experience and to go and work in an embassy. Because I, I must say something very special because, you know, uh, during our holiday times, uh, we go to other countries to explore, especially to London, to Germany, to other countries. So we, t we, we have seen uh, what is done by a mission. We go to apply for the visas. Of uh. course. So when we go to <laughs> apply for the visas, you as students, you know, you have to stay in the queue. It's a process. <laughs> it's a process. <laughs> it's uh. a process. So at that, at that point, I was thinking, my God, maybe this, this kind of a job is a very, very interesting very powerful job uh, then I thought one day maybe I can become a, a person who is working in an embassy not not as a diplomat or anybody but that was my my thought at that time but it was it was nice to go back to yes. uh, where you have studied of uh, course uh, I didn't uh, stay for three years in Moscow but uh, I came back for my personal reasons back to Colombo uh, then uh, after uh, doing that posting I was uh, posted to uh, uh, to uh, to Italy, the last. Huh? Uh, the Italian posting, of course, a very, very different type of posting. Mostly we have a lot of Sri Lankans, like in the Philippines. Yes. We have so many Sri Lankans working in, 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 migrants, in, in migra yes. and mi migrant workers. So the experience, mostly uh, the work was concentrated on consular work. Mm, mm. So it was, that was my, and this is my, uh, the current posting. This is my first posting as the ambassador. I have been in the in the service for 22 years as a career diplomat. And uh, yes, of course. But now, how wonderful, now, Excellency. Now, now, in, now, in, uh, yes. now in Philippines. Your, your postings have been so varied yes. and have brought you to, yes. to many corners of the world in very interesting places. Like yes. you mentioned, um, your posting in Russia. In, in, in Russia and your yes. studies in the Soviet Union yes. before that. So yes. just, you know, just an example of, of the many exciting things that one can really experience as a diplomat. That's now, um, how has your stay been in the Philippines so far? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, uh, you know, the Philippines, I felt, this is my personal experience, what I felt, people are very friendly, uh, uh, s simple people, it's very simple people, very close to Sri Lankan culture also, okay. I felt it. Uh, because, you know, simple lifestyle, uh, people tolerate, uh, and also very <laughs> religious people. Uh. Yes. So, so that is my experience. So you feel very much at home here, Ambassador? I'm, I'm, mm. I'm very much comfortable and very much at home, yes. I must say. Yes. Now, interesting you mentioned that in your Foreign Service batch, yes. there were seven women out of 12. Yes. And uh, is, this, is this typical, uh, is, is this women empowerment? A very typical of Sri Lanka and and and, and I want to start there when we talk about your country because apparently that the first prime minister female prime minister in the world came from your country yes yes actually actually uh, Sri Lanka produced the first female prime minister in the world so uh, 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 maybe a little bit uh, if I can go back to the history uh, 
uh, this is uh, in um, 1948 we got our independence. Uh, even before the women were given the equal rights, we, we were able to vote. In 1931, we were able to vote. Women were able to vote. Amazing. Uh, yes, so it's uh, it's some kind of a we have a very equal uh, equal uh, opportunities for women in Sri Lanka. Where does it come from, Ambassador? This very proactive, uh, you know nature of Sri Lankan society? Yes, uh, why it happens is uh, Sri Lankan education is free and it's compulsory. So women had the opportunity to uh, study and work. Uh, so therefore, like, uh, we are very flexible and, and the government encourages a lot on education and uh, it's, that's how it has started. Uh. Very good. So women are very, very powerful. Uh. Very but it's good. Uh, somewhat, uh, you must say, uh, the pro in the professional uh, sector, we have about 49% of professionals. Even in the foreign service, Sri Lankan foreign service, we have about almost 50% of women. That's in the very good. Service. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's quite. And, and you, have to, you have to say in, in, the, in the Philippine foreign service also, you have uh, quite a number of women. Uh. Yes. So it's, uh, it's yes. quite similar in, into our our system. Yes. 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 Now, yes. Sri Lankan society, uh, we're, we're talking about the government, you have a semi-presidential system mm -hmm. and uh, we, we in the Philippines have a presidential system. Now, your head of state is the president, yes. but he, he also has a very, uh, you know, close working relationship with his prime minister. Yes. And they, they actually do share some executive uh, power and, yes. and, and uh, initiative. Yes. Uh, we have a semi-presidential system in Sri Lanka. The president has been uh, elected uh, for a five-year term. Uh, for, he can go up to two, two terms uh, and uh, always the president consults the prime minister for his, his, his work. Uh, so even to appoint the cabinet, it is always the prime minister has been consulted and uh, been appointed. Yes. So, yeah. Interesting country, Ambassador, because we're showing some videos now. It's, it's really a truly beautiful country and also a very ancient one. If you think about... Um, well, the civilization of Sri Lanka, records, recorded civilization, goes back 3,000 years. And so a lot, of, a lot of changes have undergone in your country that formed, have shaped present-day Sri Lanka. Yes, yes. We, our, our, our history goes back to millennia, maybe 100,000 to up to 500,000 years of history. We have a very rich history, but of course, as you said, we have about 2,500 years of written history. Uh, the, uh, uh, what happened was uh, uh, the Indian, uh, the, the first written history says uh, the Indian kings, uh, the Indian princes, prince came to Sri Lanka and established in Sri Lanka. And after that, uh, he was, uh, after the first uh, uh, the, the, the kingdom was established in Anuradhapura, that is a world heritage city. Yes. Uh, then after that, uh, from Anuradhapura, it was brought into Polonnaruwa, then to Kandian kingdom and to the Kote, the last kingdom. Uh. So that's how the kingdoms were brought, uh, brought into. And after that, uh, the colonial powers in Sri Lanka uh, started with Portuguese, uh, then comes to the Dutch, and to the, the last lead was the British, who, who colonized the whole island in 18, 1802. Uh, and after that, uh, in 1948, we got the independence. Yes, and um, you know, uh, Sri Lankan society today is really unique in that sense in South Asia because you really had a lot of influence from your big neighbors, I mean obviously mm -hmm. in, the, in the subcontinent, mm -hmm. to all these colonial powers who have somehow perhaps left a, an imprint on, on, on Sri Lankan society. Yes, uh, you are very correct in that sense uh, because uh, from India, there is a lot of influence from India because at that time the, 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 the kings from India, or they got married to uh, Sri Lankan princesses. So that's how, how, how the relationship began. Also, the, the, the religion made a big role in the Sri Lankan society. The Buddhism, the Buddhism was brought from India to Sri Lanka at that point. So when, when, the, you know, the, when the Buddhism was destroyed in India, it was brought into Sri Lanka. And from Sri Lanka, it was taken into other countries, such as Thailand, maybe to Cambodia, to Myanmar, to Laos, places like that. Yes. So that is how our relationship starts. And, uh. and, and, and hence, we see also the close relationship that Sri Lanka has with greater ASEAN. Mm -hmm. When you mentioned uh, the relations with uh, the yeah. countries in, in, in what is known Indochina, Laos, mm -hmm. Vietnam, mm -hmm. Thailand, yeah. Cambodia, yeah. and also Burma slash Myanmar. Yes, yes. And, and you can see the migration really yes. of how culture from Sri Lanka spread yes. to, to ASEAN. Yes. 
it is it is very interesting to know some of the historic relationship between ASEAN and Sri Lanka, which can go back to maybe fifth century, because during that time, uh, what happened was uh, uh, the, uh, the the the, the, the yeah, Sri Lanka was a hub. It was a, is a, it was a natural port, so the the trade was done through uh, uh, going through uh, uh, west from China to the eastern part or to west to that uh, yes. east. Yes, it was so a it stopover. Was, it was stopover. Yes. So that is how it was started in in the fifth century. Maybe to fifth to sixth century, it was transformed to we had we had connections with Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos. Today's Laos. Uh, th that was uh, purely based on uh, b b the history. Says some of the some of the kings from uh, from Myanmar and Cambodia has got married to Sri Lankan princesses. So maybe maybe a lot of people doesn't know this kind of history. <laughs> yes. uh, so f there are you, and also the, maybe it, it was a strategy for for the for the, uh, the rulers at that time to get married uh, from from other countries. Maybe. Uh, the Indians uh, for, from India well, for at that time, India, Indian uh, to uh, to uh, to protect from Indian uh, intervention, Indian uh, kings' of intervention. Of course, uh. of course. Back then, it was all about alliances, yes. kingdoms, and alliances. Yes. And what better way yes. to cement an alliance and yes. get married and, yeah. and, and have a Very union, a, 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 a marital union? Yeah. And also, it's interesting to know that uh, during fifth to sixth century, we have uh, established our diplomatic relations with most of the ASEAN countries. Really. With uh, some of, say, um, with Myanmar, at that time it was Burma, okay, with Cambodia, Cambodia we had uh, diplomatic relations where it was started with marrying the princesses. Then after that, uh, it was said uh, from B Burma, some, some, some envoys were sent to Sri Lanka, to, to Lanka at that time. To, uh, to take get uh, rubies because Sri Lanka is very famous for rubies. So they have taken jewelry rubies from Sri Lanka to uh, Burma. So that was that how it has been begun. Uh. So also it is interesting to note that uh, not only with these countries, uh, but also of course I, as I said, it is the Buddhism. Uh, when when Buddhism was brought into Sri Lanka from India, it was when uh, after that it was it was uh, it was spread to Thailand first and to Cambodia to Myanmar and to Cambodia and uh, to Laos as well. When Buddhism was destroyed in Sri Lanka. From Thailand, it was brought back to Sri Lanka by Upali Thero, a, a priest, a, a, a Thai priest yes. called Upali. He brought back Buddhism to Sri Lanka. So there was so much of contacts. And on, on the other hand, the contacts what we had with, uh, with um, uh, say, Malaysia, with Brunei, with Singapore, with Indonesia. Indonesia, of course, we had, uh, we, we had some relations yes. with, uh, with Buddhism, yes. uh, Borobudur, places like that. Uh, but with Malaysia and uh, Brunei, maybe to up, to up to a certain level with Singapore, uh, the Malay community, it, it is not Muslim community, the Malay community, we got a lot of things from them. The, uh, up to date, the, 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 the Batik yes. is from oh, Malaysia. Okay. The, m most of the foods say about, say, uh, we have very famous food called Sambal. Sambal came from actually uh, from from Malay Malay community. Yes. Then also rattan rattan uh, the, the, the yes the, 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 the art the of yes. making rattan. Uh, that uh, rattan is uh, from uh, from 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 Malay community. Then lot of foods how we wear some of the uh, how we wear. Uh, it's it's very very. Uh, so you can really see the, the the close relations that, that your country has historically. Yes. And even until today, you have the, those 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 bonds that you mentioned with Thailand, with Malaysia, and hence mm -hmm. the closest really of the Sri Lankan people to their ASEAN brothers and sisters. Yes. Ambassador, we have a possible break, but when we come back, we'll talk about the close relations that your country has with the Philippines, okay. including. Uh, our, our national hero, Jose Rizal. Okay. So, yeah. Guys, stick around because more of Sri Lanka, the wonder of Asia, when Global Village returns.
Sri Lanka. <laughs>